All right, we are back with Windbreaker episode 10. Y'all already witnessed, y'all already know what happened last episode. Bullfooting won the, I guess, the fight. When Mia really taught how to, I guess, I don't know, gave him some character development so he can like kind of rebuild his gang. But even I think they said she Torn is not over, I forgot. You know, it, it had a good ending. It's like they can all be friends now. They can all be, you know, reliant on each other, which is nice. Shout out to Mia because of that and also shout out to everyone else because both footing kind of went undefeated so before getting to it like always hit the subscribe button like comment all that good stuff man let's get right into the juiciness yeah brother is like that's crazy or is acting like it's like a damn theater performance well it was like a theater performance oh that's what it was he wanted to, he was taking his thing off to say like oh we're, we're done you can have this but then he's like nah yeah that's what it was that's what it was and they can eat together all beat up that's crazy that's so sick. Oh, God. Oh, my God. So many fried food that looks so good. Yeah, bro. That's crazy. Damn, bro is grubbing them shits up. Holy crap. Dude, that bite was vicious. It look he was. Yeah. No, it was those two. Those two. Oh, but yeah, that part. Yeah. Come in. Come in, Dude, fucking God dang. Apologizing now, wow. Wow. Both apologizing heavily. That's beautiful. Accept it, bro. Accept the apology, man. Nah, nah. Y'all already y'all already fought it out. Y'all already fought it out. I feel like they didn't deserve any punishment, man. Your punishment you gotta eat as much as you damn can. That's what it is. Yeah, there we go. You have to become an absolute really cool guy. Don't do lapse up ever again. That's so smart. That's his punishment. You gotta be cool, man. Yo, who's their who's their medic, bro? Cause the bandages look all like look perfect, bro. Like they're all like kind of bandaged up properly. That's fries, bro. What do you mean that's fries? Oh, never mind. I mean it's fried something. What a what a answer. How do you have so fun at the top? Man, I love to eat food. I wonder how they got the money for that, man. That's lucky bread right there. Yo, hold up, Unk is spitting right now, bro. Nah, he's he's so right about oh my yo, this man is this man is so knowledgeable. This is why he's a damn leader. Bro, y'all better eat the damn food before it gets cold, cause I'm gonna get mad. I'm gonna actually get mad. Cause that food looks good. And if y'all have to start eating it cold, I'm gonna be pissed. Ah. Oh. Uh genuinely annoy me, cause that's making me hungry. You can't reach the top on your own, man. That's what they told Sakura. Oh, yes. Finally, someone's eating, bro. Goddamn. That looks so good. Yeah, and he's looking at Sakura, too. Look at that. He said, you better learn because then you can take over when I leave. That's what he's saying right there, man. You, you might be the heir, brother. Sakura, you might be the heir. Yeah, but I'm telling you, first, you got pillow hands, bro. You're landing a lot of punches, but they weren't doing... I realize they got pillow hands, bro. Like a peace treaty type of bra something? Oh, a little... Oh, that looks tasty, man, I'm gonna lie. I'm about to say, it's way beyond being cold, and it's probably smushed as hell. Hmm. Uh, he, he's so... Dude, look at his ears are red, bro. Oh... He's so embarrassed, man, of making new friends. That's so, he's so cute. Sakura is so cute, man. See, now y'all you just left your own vices, man. What you about to do now? The hell you about to do now? Oh, look at that. But look how, look how much his eyes change. There's no light and glimmers, glimmer, glimmer in it. A lot of gl glittery glimmerance. And now he's depending on others instead of like just focusing on strength. And just, you know, trying to be like an alpha wolf type of thing. Like, or just strength conquers all. And he's not swallowed by his own darkness. Nah, what a... This is a cute bonding moment, man. Yeah, I knew I knew he was going to start crying, bro. I figured, bro. Dude, his hair... His hair is so sick, bro. I, I love Kami's uh, hair, bro. It's like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, bro. Yeah, it's like, what a bad day for rain. It's sunny. That's all over now, man. We got your revenge, man. And more.
Omelette ice time. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm telling you, bro. They had like they had people right like who knows how to do how to bandage stuff up, bro. God, damn, he picked up with ease from the car like a damn dog or cat. Damn, bro, relax. Dialogue anniversary? What do you say? What the hell is a dialogue anniversary? Salad and what the hell is a salad anniversary, bro? Damn, they get they getting on his ass, bro. They get on his ass. Now he's, <laughs> now he's getting super embarrassed. Oh, cutie. Damn, bro, you better blind you better blind the damn leader, bro. <laughs> That's hilarious. He does, bro. He does. Now he's so embarrassed because of it, bro. I'm telling you. Oh, that's adorable, man. That's a little bit adorable, man. Do you think you're already hanging out with the leader, bro? Like, like Sakura has done such a good, a, a, amazing job acclimating here. It's like it's like the research that Sakura always needed, man. Always an outcast, but now like he has a spot where like a place where he actually belongs and is happy to be there. So yeah, so you gotta get the character development to accept other people, bro. To accept them, they can accept you. Yeah, but you can't do things on your own. You cannot do things on your own. Hey, brother, you got the talking stick, man, so speak up! Brother, brother, how are you gonna forget in the moment where you're gonna get like your punchline? But yes, you did get your point across, so. Conditions to be able to talk with your fist. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Kota go, go really read through him, bro. Kota read through him. He's, like, he's getting so embarrassed because he's getting like. I don't know. He's feeling too many new feelings, but he's getting embarrassed. Oh, they're gonna scrap it out. Hold up, not in the, not in the, not in the diner, bro. That's what I'm saying, not in the diner. Looks like everyone's still filming the end. What a wonderful episode, man. Everyone reconciled. It's like everyone had the conversation with, with fists, man. Everyone spoke through fists. Feelings got across with these fists. And, and self-realization, a lot of it really happened. You know, with Monkey Man and Kamechan, a lot of them, you know, after losing or, or, or you know, just going through these fights, they, they realize, like, what ha what's been missing, uh, why they've been acting like this, what caused them to be devoured by such uh, darkness and bad energy that, you know, kind of snowballed into Shishitoren becoming what it is now, but now they're just going to have, like, a whole kind of rebranding, I would say, all because Umamiya and Wolfwoody, man, that is uh, very sentimental how they were just able to be like friends after, you know, because everyone, everyone there wanted the best for each other. You know, everyone both fighting with with uh, Shiji Toden, Loki wanted the best for them. They know they're in like an, a, on a bad path. They know they've been messing up this and that. But, so they just wanted like them to see to, to get corrected, to be put on like the good on, on, the, on the good path. Luckily. Uh, that's what it would happen, and they had a, such a sick feast afterwards. All of the fried foods, bro, that looked so delicious. I wanted all of it. I wanted all of it. Now I'm hungry, but I can't eat because I have no food. And then they just had a little talk back at the diner, and Umiya was explaining a lot of things to Sakura, like, "Yo, like you can't do this on your own. You gotta be accepting of people. You gotta be able to open up and be accepting of people. That's the only way you can really have people on your side. And then that's how you kind of gain like a." A following and and they'll take you to the top you know like how Umil was like he didn't fight to get the top like they took him to the top they accepted him at the top because of how of how he was he's accepting everything accepting everyone such a, a, a friendly guy people can always come to me and he's dependable too and that's what made him so strong and that's what made his fists heavy because he has a lot of things to protect not just himself he fights for others including himself you know but yeah just what a, what a wonderful episode and I'm excited to see what happens next because I, I wonder what's next man I really do wonder what's next after this little arc. What's next? So for now, it's all I got. Like always, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, all that good stuff, man. I'll catch y'all in the next video.